Sound Off Topic, Man on the Street, brought to you by KFC today, comes from the pages of the Tribune, the People's Paper, the biggest and the best. Grab your copy, and of course, stay in touch with the latest news on Tribune242.com, all right? And of course, our question is, we did it when uh, the, the Member of Parliament for Marco City and Freeport, MP Mr. Greg Moss, left the PLP. Now we have another Member of Parliament, sitting Member of Parliament, the MP for Fort Charlotte, my constituency, Dr. Andre Rollins, has also left the PLP. They, Mr. Christie, I don't know if you know this, Mom, but you got MPs leaving your cabinet and leaving your administration like Israelites out of Egypt. Guess what? Uh, also, you got to look, uh, Ryan left. Ryan jump ship. Shout out to Ryan. You know, he gave Good a to the lion. He came up by the comedy club. Yeah, he bought me a few. Big up, big up, big up. That that's one. Right. Two is Mr. Moss. And three is Mr. Rollins. Three and four could be possibly Red and Bell because you know already go the Renny Law. He ain't gonna really say, but he can say, but he ain't gonna really say that he say that he say that he didn't say that he was gonna say that he wasn't gonna say that he was gonna say. Mr. Speaker, my F A T E bulldog is not in the hands of any man. My or group of men and women, my F.A.T. is a wannabe Rockweiler. <laughs> F.A.T. Pitbull. In the pot cake. And I'd like to put my ticket, uh, my hat in the ballot for Leslie Miller. You go sweat your ass off. Because I think Leslie Miller can clearly do his own, his own party if, if need be the Honorable Leslie Miller could form Man. his own party and win so, hands down. Win I think, hands down. I, I don't know if he, if he could do his party, but I think... Mr. Miller is one of the, the, the few candidates that could run as a viable, real independent and maintain his seat. I get news for them fat chai bosses in the PLP. I get news. I start my own political party to vote for Leslie campaign and I whoop an ass. That's right. I whoop an ass. You all want to talk with me and cutting off light and if I speed woman, don't worry. I go whoop your ass. And that's what I could do. And I could start this thing fresh, my own party. So shout out to Leslie Miller, he's always out the party, he's having up I a coffee, he's on Eastern Road, he's big on Eastern Road, you know. I think that's what we're going to do, that is our sound off segment today, Man on the Street topic, brought to you by KFC. Dr. Andre Rollins has quit the PLP, the, the stack, well, third if you look at it, if you count, uh, Mr. Pinder, and then Mr. Morris, now you got Mr. Uh, Dr. Rollins. So, that is your question, what is, what is going on? MPs are leaving the, the governing party like Israelites out of Egypt. What is your take on Dr. Andre Rollins? The same question we ask you with, uh, you know, the member of parliament from Marco City, Mr. Greg Moss. What is your take now on this move? What does it signify for you? Does it forebode maybe a cross to a new party, the formation of a new party, independency, or maybe crossing to maybe the red shirts or the green shirts? He was disgruntled for quite some time, though, from when he started taking up for his boy. And that's why sometimes when you see problems on the job, you leave it, because he got all disgruntled. Disgruntled? No. Let's be real. He was disgruntled from when LBT gave him that screamer. Oh. Give me one. Bah. No, if you really want a Loretta, yes sir. Can I speak up like Rollins? Like I was really upset about the situation. You got your topic, big one. Just like give me one like Rollins. I'll, I'll, I'll battle it, it, give me it like a real Long Island woman. But do you, you, you think that's a game? I'm speaking up on my own. I don't want to see we are going to see what the streets have to say about this. I can't talk again for them. And I certainly don't want to say anything about the PLP. I feel like his departure was long over here. Um, his talent wasn't appreciated. I like him because he's very candid and I feel like he has a voice and a heart for the people and his departure is long over. He has he needed to go where he is celebrated and not tolerated and the PLP barely at best tolerated him. I don't know that I'm politics in that they don't know that from my Me being who I am and for the years I have been in this life, alright, I find that um, the politicians, you know, Enough respect due to Piddling because for my four parents them, he allowed me and other 
generation and peers in my generation to afford an education. That man had a vision. I look at these um, politicians today, where there's F and M or PLP. These people don't have no vision. You understand? Um, quite frankly, if you look at most of these young politicians, you hear this one resigning or this one having a problem with that party. And it ain't that new, it's the same old thing from F&M and PLP time. You, you hear people will tell you, Hubert was a, a PLP, or Hubert was an F&M, or, or, or Perry was this and this one was that. So one party is one party, but you know we, we, we need to find a leader with some vision to help this nation into the next 50 to 100 years. All right, we lost. Did we say Albert Rollins, right? Mm -hmm. I think he'd be right back in there. I think he'd be back in there. He's smart, he's a smart guy. <laughs> he'd be back. <laughs> the PLB, they said they choke us. They, that's why they quit. Well, it sounds to me like he's a quitter, and you know what they say quitters never win, and winners never quit. Kiss FM. Yeah, man, for real, they might as well quit, you know, because at the end of the day, like you say, if you're quitting, quitters don't win. You know what I mean? And winners don't quit. And as, as far as it is right now, I don't see what they're doing. All they're doing, they look like they all for themselves, taking up all the money that's going around. I mean, why should we even worry the vote come next up? Because it's about the same thing. For the last, what, three, four years? Real dog. Enough respect to Kiss FM. All right. Uh, the reason why I say this is because, you know, compared to these politicians that you see only election time, all right, don't come around and find out what the ills and the social ills, all right, or the voice of the people. These men them come, all right, with their new uh, radio station and trying to show the public some of the social ills and, and, and what the people is feeling in society today. So on that note, I say enough respect to Kiss FM. Kiss FM is the best station. I love it. Kiss FM, one love. Kiss FM is the best. It's my favorite station. Keep playing it. Keep it on your radio dials. Kiss FM is my favorite station. My name is Straight Joe.